Be me for a second. Would you trust you? The answer is no. Well, you didn't let me be you. Here. Jimmy, sorry for always being so hard on you. It's only because I love you. I don't talk like that. When Harrison said that he would do it and I saw the announcement, I thought it was a practical joke. It seemed unreal that you wanted to do this show with me. Oh man, come yeah. on. Well, that's really true. And I'm sure at some point. <laughs> this is my every day. I'm gonna happiness I know. Sit down, Jimmy. If I sit down, I'm gonna feel like I'm in trouble. You are in trouble. They wanted John Wayne, but they were disappointed to hear about his demise. <laughs> you know who the most important person in your life is right now? You. No, you. Your daughter. Right, that's what I meant. I'm second. Okay. In all seriousness, I've always admired his work. The writing is uh, fantastic. And the relationship is, to me, really funny and interesting. He doesn't think so, but I do. <laughs> Can we talk? I don't need another lecture. It's about Gabby. Oh, I was kind of looking forward to a fight. Yeah, I could tell. These two guys, they have a mentor-mentee relationship, but I think it's also a surrogate father-son relationship. Jimmy desperately wants Paul's approval. You just said you love me. No, I did not. Well, it sounded like you did. Hmm. I think Paul has a really complicated relationship with his kids and sees Jimmy as potentially a son. So the show is all about lines being blurred. And I think that the Paul-Jimmy relationship is a real example of that. I've known you for years. I've never met your daughter. Yeah, what is she like? She lives in Connecticut. Wow, it's like she's in the room. The character that Jason plays is complex and uh, visceral and exciting. The relationship comes from the writers, but there also is a personal relationship that, that fuels me. Who knows how you grieve? You haven't even begun. What are you talking about? I've been grieving for a year. No, you've been numbing. I'm worried about you. It's the kind of material where I don't know from one moment to the next whether I'm gonna laugh or cry. I feel enormously lucky to just be part of the thing. Same. And I think it's good for people to laugh. You should see Harrison Ford do comedy. Not today. No, not <laughs> Do you know what percentage of yourself is actually made of water? I know what percentage of me doesn't give it. Okay, well, that's the dehydration talking. I'll be fine.